In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make six option curl page infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added six different uh, options with different colors. And here goes the title, the first option. And you can see here, I have created the curl page effect here. And you can add the detailed text and I have added the shadow effect at the bottom. So you can see here, this is the second option with different colors. So all the six options are there. And this slide is very useful for uh, making a content slide or showing different options in your presentation. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes and from the rectangle select the rounded corners rectangle, draw a rectangle maybe of this much size and make sure to drag this inside the small orange point so it becomes fully curved and shape outline you can make it no outline and let me just increase the size a little bit and then i'm going to select this object press ctrl d to duplicate it and give some different color and i'm going to hold the shift key and reduce the size you can see here just reduce the size something like this and i'm going to increase the width so that the orange one should go out of the blue one so you can see here the one area which is visible in the blue that only area I'm going to keep and the rest I'm going to delete it. So I'm going to select the blue rectangle first, hold the shift key, select the orange rectangle and under format merge shape you can say subtract. So you can see here you end up getting this shape and then I'm going to cut the top part also for that go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle give some different color no outline let me just make it some transparent go to format shape fill make it transparent and just rotate it you can see here you have to make sure that the whole part should be covered with this rectangle and then i'm going to select this shape Hold the shift key again, select the orange rectangle again under format, merge shape, subtract. So you end up getting this shape. Now you can select this object and increase the width something like this. You can see here. And then I'm going to add two rectangles here. First go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. Make sure that this covers all area here shape outline make it no outline you can give some different color and then send this to back and you can see here the extra area I need to cut this one we can see here this is going outside of this shape it has to be cut so there are different ways I can cut this data example go to insert shapes and I can just select uh, this one rectangle or I can just select the freeform shape also and i can just use the freeform shape something like this you can see here and then i'm just going to cut this area only you can see here then i'm going to select this hold the shift key select this shape the freeform shape merge shape and subtract so that area got removed now i'm going to select this rectangle press ctrl d you can see here it is showing this kind of uh, shape like this let me bring back to the original one i can go to edit shape change shape and just select the rectangle so it bring back to the original one here let me just give some different color and later on as i said i'm going to change it again i'm going to place it exactly here and then go to format and send to back so you can see here you have got this uh, curl effect so now i'm just going to select this and give the shadow effect or different gradient fill here now if you want you can just keep this color or you can give the gradient fill let me just select the gradient fill and by default you have got four stops so let me just select this top first go to colors more colors i'm going to give some gray color either you can choose it from here or you can directly choose the gray color from here as well so let me just select this color first and then I'm going to select this color. I'm going to make it somewhat lighter color. And here I can make it somewhat more darker color. You can see here. And this one I'm just going to delete it. So it looks something like this here. 
and then if you want you can give some shadow effect you can go to insert shapes select the right triangle you can see here just draw a right triangle here make it full black shape outline make it no outline and i'm just going to rotate it to you can see here flip vertical give the black color and make it more transparent you can see here and you can give a soft edges to it let me just increase the size so it looks something like this and this color also you can change to any color and you can give some shadow effect where i'm going to use maybe this one inside top right and this i'm going to give a white uh, effect again with the gradient fill so let me just select the gradient fill and by default it is there like this so first of all i'm going to change the direction should be like this linear right let me just delete this part make this white here and this one will be gray color only and this white i'm going to make it more transparent you can see here something like this so it looks something like this here let me just make it more transparent also all right now once this is done you can just group it press ctrl g to group it you can put it here and then you can add the text go to insert text you can add your detailed text here make it bring it here make it white font so that it is clearly visible center align if you want you can reduce the font size here and then i'm going to add one more just add for example 01 title here increase the size if you want you can make it bold also so it looks something like this if you want you can just again give more transparent effect here like this so this is you can see here the first content page i mean the design press ctrl d to duplicate it you can make it the second one this will be the second one you can just come here and just change the color you can change some other color different color whatever color you like you can add it here so again press ctrl d this will be the third option and again just change the color to some other brighter colors so this is the way you can create this particular slide. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.